hello guys welcome back let's continue from where we left off in the previous video we have here rules for naming a variable there are some rules that we must follow when we want to name our variables now variables will play an important role in our python programming journey so we must know how to deal with it before we start we have here that python is a dynamically typed programming language so you don't have to declare a data type when assigning a value to the variable what we should know is that some programming languages like java and c++ c are statically typed what it means is that when you are assigning a value to a variable at the initialization you must declare the type of data of the variable so if you want to assign let's say one to the variable s in c++ or java we must do this okay like this but in python we are saying that this is not valid if i try to run this now you get an invalid syntax do you see this yes so in python is dynamic you leave it like that and python will automatically assigns the best data type in its acumen for us so if i print this one i'll get one so that is what the point one means the point two is saying that a variable name must start with a letter or the underscore character so as we have done here our variable name is starting with a letter or we can say food then we assign rice to it now if i try to print food i'll get rice this is what it means or we can say it can start with the underscore character so then we say level 400 now if you try to print level you get 400 so that's what it means the next point is a variable name cannot start with a number so what this means is that we can't start a variable name with a number so this is not acceptable in python if i try to run this i'll get an error invalid syntax that is what it means now let's look at the fourth point sensitive variable names are case sensitive that is python treats uppercase letters and lowercase letters differently now let's look at this age 30 and then we have here age python sees these two as different because they are not the same in python so let's print the two and then if they were the same one wouldn't have been printed so python is case sensitive case sensitive it, may, it means uppercase letters are different from lowercase letters although they have the same spelling and the same meaning now the next point is a variable name can be a mixture of alphanumeric characters and underscores what it means is that i can say my number underscore let's say four this is valid variable name in python so if i try to print this it's cool we wouldn't get any of this error is generating from this one so let's clear it off so if i try to print my number Or I'll get 300 so a variable name can be a mixture of all underscore letters and numbers but you can start with a number and then we have in the C point a variable name must not be any of Python's keywords now here you can google for Python's keywords and you will know them earlier in the lesson we have a video on the dictionary of Python Python has some reserved keywords that you can't assign them to a variable. You can't use them to name variables. It's reserved and it performs specific functions for us when we want them. And the print function that we have been using is one of them. So we can name a variable as print and we assign a value to it. No, it's not acceptable. But since Python is case sensitive, we can change the first letter or any letter in them to a capital letter. So if we change the first letter to capital P, this we can use it as a variable it's a variable it's a valid variable name and then we are saying anything that we want to it 
so python will not treat this as its keyword now let's look at the python keywords you can either google them or we can do this import keyword then we say print keyword dot k w list so if you run this we get all python keywords if you can then i think they are about 35 or so 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 these are the words that we can use as variable names okay if you want to use any of these as variable names then you have to check their case so if you want to name a variable as true we can just change the first letter to be a small case and then we are good to go so these are the letters that you should take note you can assign you can name them as variables and if even if you try to do it you will get an error so you made aware of it now let's look at the last one you can't declare a variable without assigning a value to it so let's look at this if you say num then we leave it like this this doesn't mean anything so if you try to print num you will get an error invalid center so anytime that we initialize or declare a variable we must assign a value to it that is what this means now let's look at another some advanced ways that we can name variable you can also say x comma y comma See, that is we are assigning multiple values to variables so the number of items on the right hand side should be equal to the number of items on the left hand side so if you try to print xyz now the print function can take multiple arguments we will do we will deal with it very soon yeah, i'm having what one two three so what we are saying is that we can also use multiple assignments on one line but what we should we should know is that the number of items on the left hand side should be equal to the number of items on the right hand side so if i delay this and i print this i'm expecting an error so not enough values to unpack so we should know this and if i also remove this one from here and i add three i should also expect an error so let's print this and we are having the same error too many values to unpack expected to but we can also do this x y then we say let's say one two three four five and then here what we should do is that if we just want to assign x and y to the first two and then the others the rest of the values we want to assign it to something else we can just say this and then we assign it to any variable let's say others and this is valid so if i try to print x i should get one if i try to print y i'm expecting two what about if i try to print the others you don't need to bring the star here i'll get to a three four five and this is a data type that we are going to talk about very soon so these are some ways that we can name our variables and we also have another way we can assign one value to multiple variables so you can say a is equal to b see all of them one all right so if we print a here and then we print b here and then we print c here let's see we are all having one 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 so that is how we can name variables in python these are some of the ways that we can name variables. so practice 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 see you in the next lesson the next lesson we are going to talk about data types things are getting serious now bye bye